what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to our winterberry project as you can see behind me it has changed a little bit since you guys have been out uh, i have been beyond busy so i have making excuse that i have not made time to shoot video so my apologies uh, but we're going to give you guys some updates today we'll take a quick uh, tour of the front show you guys what we've gotten done here then on inside of the house we've got some of the appliances installed some of the counters have gone in paint has started so it looks a little different in there and a lot of stuff is still covered in plastic right now because they're still painting they have about a week left there we got outside we've got finished grade or the final grade done but it rained yesterday so it's a little mucky so i'm not going to take a, a tour around and get all covered in mud with you guys so we've got the front of the house uh just about wrapped up uh, we're waiting on a couple more pieces to come in from lp uh, for underneath the entryway there we had to do a little detail work and we still have to frame uh do the detail framing on the posts those are going to be black to match all the black trim but what do you guys think how do you like the blackboard and batten with the white contrast and the doors i think it turned out sharp and then we also had our siding guys build us some cedar brackets i'm going to try and zoom in here to hold up that little uh eyebrow window there I think those turned out pretty nice. Uh, they're coated uh, with the clear. That way the, uh, the sun reflecting off the metal roof that's gonna be there doesn't fade them too much. So as we pop around, I've got the stone is done here. Stone's done on the back wall, which it kind of has been. We started on the columns here. We got a little bit more work to do on a couple of them. And then we've got a stone along the bottom of the exposed concrete there so it's not you know showing and it's actually kind of dry over here so you guys will see that grades changed a little bit since the last time we were out now it actually follows the house down and it's got a slope away uh, so all the water runoff takes off that way still still steep that is for sure I'm gonna take a hike around back i haven't been back here in a while oh geez so when we grade we kind of created this flat spot here. Um, that way you can have like an actual area to use your yard instead of being a whole slope away. And the homeowners are talking about cutting in uh, after the fact, like a recessed seating area with like a fire pit. I think it'd be super cool. Let's see, we've still got to do the stone for that. They've brought the materials around. We've got landscaping supposed to start in two days. So hopefully these guys get done back here before the landscapers uh, get out here. And I wish I could get on the deck to show you guys the decking material. That's starting to go down. Uh, it's on pause until the painters are done because they've got all the doors taped off and we can't get back up there without kicking ladders on the outside and we're not gonna mess around with that. So we'll zip back around up the front. And again, you guys see grades finished through here. Oh, that sun is bright. Remember, for those of you who have been following this project and if you haven't been following this project, check out um, our list of videos in the Winterberry project. This house, we started shooting as soon as we broke ground and the whole process through. So you could check all those out to catch up where we are. But you'll remember we had a ton of exposed concrete here uh, because that's the garage. So as you see now that we've actually brought the dirt in, we've got grade done. That's completely reduced down to a normal amount of concrete showing. Our downspouts are gonna get buried uh, by our landscapers they're going to run out the back to the wetland behind us so that way all of our water discharge is out and away from the house you know that's one thing speaking of kicking water out and away from the house uh, when you grade a house it is common sense but just one thing you want to know your slope you always want to be away from all sides of the house so your front you want to slope away a little bit this way you want to slope the sides away the back away that ensures you don't have water issues well, i guess it shouldn't say it ensures it as long as you did everything else properly with the drainage system around your footings and your foundation then you won't have to worry about water so we'll jump inside and show you guys what we got going on in there <laughs> the smell of fresh paint i love it so here are the counters in the kitchen we told you guys we're doing that black with the white vein i think they look super sharp They've still got to bring the waterfall in. They've got the edge already cut. So you get a nice warning, caution, sharp edge, so you're not like running into it and tearing your leg open. So the side panel will have that same angle cut into it. So you won't even 
see the seam once they put it together, glue it, and they press it all. It'll look sharp. What do you guys think? Was that the right color choice for this kitchen? And this has still got to get a quick coat of mud so our painters can do that. I just realized it. We've got some appliances. We've got the refrigerator freezer are installed. The double 30 inch ovens are in. We have the Wolf cooktop that's ready to go in there. We have the sharp built-in microwave that does not go there, but that's its current hiding spot. That's our dishwasher spot. Microwave goes in that pocket there, but that freezer fridge is massive. Absolutely massive. I think it, I think it fits the space nicely though. And you guys will see they're starting to cut in the color. They've already got all the baseboard and the window casings sprayed. All the nickel gap shiplap has all been sprayed white to match the trim. And now they're starting to cut color in all around on the main level. I'm gonna try and show you guys, you know, we talked about, oh, I spy a boss lady. I spy a bus bolt. <laughs> I got her. She's to hide. I got her. She's trying to hide. <laughs> She's pretty good at that. Um, <laughs> if you guys remember, I said we're going to paint the ceiling detail in here a really dark color to offset it from the walls. So it's not black, but it looks like it. It's a super dark gray. And you see, I mean, they still got a little more to do, of course, but. What do you guys think of that? I think it's I think it's pretty sharp. It gives it a ton of depth. I wish I could get the whole thing uh, in my camera, but I don't have the lens for that. So uh, let's hop upstairs real quick where they actually have all the rooms painted with the first coat of color. And I'll kind of give you an idea of what we did for wall colors, which you can see spinning around behind me anyways, but this is the gray we went with. It is called Unusual Gray by Sherwin Williams. And we've just carried this color throughout all the rooms. Uh, it's the same gray. We just think ooh, that lighting's terrible. I just think this gray works well with the kind of everything we put in this house. And the stark white is a good, good contrast to it. And the, actually from here, it still even looks black, but that color is called cyberspace. It's it's a good looking color in person. And I know cameras don't always do the best job at color rendition. Um, well, especially the cameras I can afford. because <laughs> I'm not going to spend a small fortune on a camera for some guy who doesn't know how to shoot video anyway. So, and so they've got first coat done throughout the whole second floor. Just a couple touch up spots and some re-rolls, you know, nothing crazy. Um, we've got carpet going in these rooms. Carpets are going in next week. And of course, you don't want to have carpet in before you paint. That's just, that's a bad idea. No good comes of that because you can't tape it off right. At least not in my opinion. So we will jump. I'd like to show you guys the master bathroom, how it turned out with the Chevron tile and the, the shower finished, but, We'll pop in real quick. Everything's covered in plastic still, uh, of course, since we're painting. But yeah, that's what you get. You get plastic covered stuff. The shower is 100% complete. Uh, sorry, we'll go in there on the next trip. I promise. All of the slabs for the rest of the counters just came in today. Uh, so they're going to st start cutting slabs tomorrow. Actually, I think they started cutting today because uh, we had a couple questions this morning about them and they said they were getting them on the table ready to go. I'll learn the light switches one of these days. And so I think there's uh, six slabs that they still have to cut for the counters. So that's not going to be a one day cut, nor will it be a one day install. So we still got a couple more days of cabinet or of countertop install before they are done. But what we do have is stair parts, lots and lots of stair parts. Uh, I love the black. It's, I think it looks great. It's super dark. So these guys have got everything kind of set up down here for all the hand railings, all the bullnose. We've got all the posts. Everything here that needed to be stained 
has all stained. I'm pretty sure all of the treads already have the poly on them. We do a matte poly on the black for our spec houses because I love the matte look. I don't like the super shiny look to it. Matte definitely isn't as robust. Um, it wears uh, quicker than the shiny stuff does, but number one, it's not as slippery, and number two, I just don't like shiny uh, black stain. I like it to have that matte look to it. And you guys will see that we've got all the trim is sprayed out down here. They sprayed out the, the, you know, the nickel gap shiplap on the fireplace wall. So they are moving right along. These guys, like I told you guys, we've got this under contract to sell now. Tight timeline, so these guys are, are rock stars right now. They work Saturday and Sunday to try and get ahead of it. Our counter guys came out Sunday to install the countertops that we showed you upstairs. And we're just, we're moving right along. I actually have something to show you guys. We actually have light in the vault room for, for once. So I'll kind of give you guys an idea uh, that how big it is. It's huge down here, absolutely huge. I don't know if you can get perspective with me standing in it, but I think about 270 square feet of space down here. And you could use it for anything. Storage, build a huge wine cellar. You could throw a vault door on it and have it be a gun safe, anything you want. Do you think it was worth adding this space to the house? You know, on a normal build, you would have just filled this area with sand, compacted it, and thrown a concrete slab up on top of us for the porch, and that's all it would have been. So for very close to the same price, we get this usable space. So, I don't know. What would you use it as? I'm curious. If you were building a house from scratch, would you prefer to have this space, or would you have just left it filled and just put the concrete on top of it and called it a normal house and moved on about the day? I'm curious to see if some of the things we do, anybody else uh, finds value in, or if they would even do it, or if everybody else is like, no, that's absolutely crazy. Not sure why you would do that. Don't do it in the future. So I'll still do it in the future because I'm stubborn. I'm just always interested in what you guys think. So as always, we appreciate you guys taking the tours with us. I apologize, this one is a week late. Um, that is 100% my fault, but please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're liking the videos of a process building a custom home. And I know I promised you guys a long time ago that we will put together a video of the true cost of building a custom home. And since we are nearing completion on this, I will start putting that together. It's probably gonna just be a quick two or three uh, video series instead of like one long video. I'm gonna give you guys the real cost to the T of what we paid to build this house. Not, I mean, I'll tell you guys what we spent on the land, but land is such a large variable that it can vary so much between different areas of the country. And we know building materials can vary too, but not quite as much as land. So you'll get an idea of what it costs to build in Northwest Indiana for a, a truly custom home. So we'll catch you guys on the next episode.